Do not come up on stage. As filmed by Misha Collins. <laughs> This is another one that doesn't like casting out. <laughs> so tell us about your experience with Supernatural. <laughs> In English. I hate you! I hate you. That's pretty comprehensive. Did you hate me? Why you hate him? security guard wants to come on stage. Yeah. Up you come. What were you going to translate for Oh, can you go? No. I love that you're asking permission. No, <laughs> sit down. Just sit down. Just have a sit down. Have a seat. Have a sit down, at least. Rich, here, you want to you hold the camera? Treat it well. Treat it like a treat it like a <laughs> Be careful with that camera. Space seat. Wait, no, 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 you're, you're good. And do you have another question? <laughs> A question for us. Charmant, and then you can say how it was for, for you to work in Charmant. Um, yeah, no, no, you're good, you're good. Um, so Charmant was... Um, It's like inside the actor's studio. Yes, it's very... <laughs> you, you what? You have a gift for me? <gasps> oh, you're trying to bribe me. <laughs> She's like, oh, <laughs> which of hers? Hold on. Which I was going to give to you, and I might stick out. <laughs> if you let me off the stage. <laughs> okay, Mark. Oh, Thank you so much for the gift. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, Mark, you, Mark, make sure you, you keep that. Um, So charmed, like a baby in a trench coat. <laughs> oh, that's very sweet. Thank you very much. It's still my favorite line of our season. <laughs> so, excuse me! Where are you going? Why are they leaving? Go sit down! What the? Group photo bloody... Oh, bloody come on. Bloody night? Come on! <laughs> Exodus! Alright, fine. Is that more vampire diarrhea? Alright, bye guys. We, we miss you. Um, so, I, I, I got an episode of Charmed. What? <laughs> oh my god, they're leaving his in stroves. It's totally unacceptable. <laughs> um, come to Barcelona. What are you still doing up here? Have I been on vampire? <laughs> what? Why are you still up here? <laughs> You're 
I think you, you earned a bottle of water. I think it was the best question. That was a good question. Um, so on Charmed, I was on Charmed. It was one of the very, very first things that I ever shot. And uh, I didn't know what I was doing. I, I didn't know what a mark on the floor was. No, not you, someone else. And um, I, was, I, was, really? I was really pretty, did you say, did you, I was pretty bad. Did, I, you, did, you, did nobody give I, you any instruction at all on how to do it? No, I had no idea. And I was in, I mean, it was a big guest star, like every day, a lot. And I had no idea what I was doing. I was like, I had no idea about continuity. That's where I learned about continuity. And uh, there was a scene where... Yeah, I was, yeah, guys, you understand that when we shoot a television show, we don't shoot it in order. We shoot it so certain scenes are done together. You could be shooting the end first, the middle next. <laughs> so, right? Yes, and if you're doing a scene, if Mark and I are doing a scene and Mark's, you know, Mark's being uh, Crowley and I'm being Castiel and Castiel is, uh, you know... Don't you hurt Sam and Dean. I'm going to take a sip of water. Every take, I have to take a sip of water at the same time in the scene, otherwise it screws it up when they edit. They have to take the bottle, and then they have to put more water back into it to the same level of wine. I didn't know about any of this stuff when I shot Charm, so it was very difficult for me. We had a scene where Alyssa Milano and I kissed. We kissed. Was that for the kiss or for the fact that he kissed Alyssa Milano? They, they cut, they, this is actually true, they cut the, the kissing scene out. There was no kissing scene in the final was it in the script? It was in the script. But what was not in the script was Alyssa Milano's tongue probing deeply into my mouth. <laughs> just like Jim Beaver. Yes, just like Jim Beaver. Exactly like Jim Beaver. Um, and, uh, and a few years ago, I, I played Alyssa Milano's um, brother on something else. And, um, and I was like, hey, remember me? I, I don't know if you, you know. Remember when you slipped me the tongue? <laughs> not only did she not remember, but she didn't remember me at all. <laughs> so, apparently, Jim Beaver remembers. Jim Beaver remembers. <laughs> remembers well. Jim always remembers. Because <laughs> he certainly has yeah. got a beard. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. But like, it's, it's got to be so scary to go into that. Nobody taught you, nobody... How did you well, I mean that? You must have had your first on-set experience, and it was like, what the what the hell is going on? Here? Does any, any here anybody here want to be an actor? God help you. <laughs> yeah. Me too. But there's an amazing book that was came from the from the Guardian lectures. I grew up around the theater. My father's an actor. He's a working actor. He's still working now. He's in Star Trek, the new Star Trek movies, and The Prestige. He's in. What's he doing right now? He just did Mad Men. He's. Um, yeah, he's in Doctor Who with me. I just directed him in a film. He's, but, so I had an idea of what to do, but you never ask the questions. You same thing. You don't you don't go, what do I do? And I was always told that Michael Caine's Let Guardian Lectures, which were turned into a book called Acting in Film, was the best book ever to explain how to open a door, what to do, how to hit a mark, what eye to look in. So I actually literally started by reading Michael Caine's book, so I didn't feel like it could I read Michael Caine's book after doing it. <laughs> What's it say about Alyssa Milano's tongue in Michael Caine's book? Yeah, well, what I suck it. <laughs> I didn't know at the time. Oh, if you'd only known, that would have been the thing. Well, Charm, I, did you have, was Rose on the show when you were on? Yeah, I love Rose. Rose is like one of my dearest friends. She's a lovely, lovely, lovely girl. They were fun. They were great fun to do. My dad actually did an episode two or three weeks after me. He's following you, man. <laughs> but he's, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's a fun, it was a fun show then. It was very silly. And that was like one of your first things to do. That's pretty good. You're very good, you know. You certainly know what you're doing there. Stop. <laughs> it's called um, Charmed. Very good. Next. Next! <laughs> this one is for both of you. This one goes out to the one I love. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to ask. Um, if any of you could write um, a, an episode of Right now? Seven. You want me to write an episode right <laughs> now? <laughs> an episode of season seven. Uh, what role would uh, Crowley play since Castiel mentioned he would be helpful? <laughs> since Castiel mentioned he would be helpful? Oh, kind of like, the, I would say, the Mrs. Doubtfire role. <laughs> oh! You know, uh, Crowley and drag. <laughs> 
Now, children, taking care of the kids. Mrs. Doubtfire. Well, thank you for viewing me as a fat Robin Williams. I don't know. I'll dress. I've just uh -huh. been losing weight. That last night. Yes, he's very, very slender. Ten kilos. Yeah. Um, I, I, I don't know why they haven't done a drag show yet on Supernatural. Well, this is because it's so prevalent in everyone's private life. I guess so. Yeah, that's true. Everybody's it's, like, it's so close to home. Judging by the pictures, <laughs> everyone's wearing dresses at home. Why bother doing it on TV? Because it would look like the Queen video. I want to break free, British Man Full Sail. So, I, does everyone know? Does everyone know what drag is? Drag. The concept of drag is. is what's it in Spanish? Drag. Drag? Oh! My second Spanish word! Hold on! Drag! Well, you know what? You, in Barcelona, you can pretty much get by if you know how to say hi and drag. You're, you're set. <laughs> It'll get you to some places in town. Yeah. You look very scared. Why are you so scared? You're not scared? Good, I'm glad. What would you like? Anybody else? Question? Um, right. uh, it's for both of you. Uh, it's, um, at the end of the season, in the last few chapters, um, well, I watched them yesterday, and I noticed something. Um, I didn't mind, but I have... What's with all the flirting? Flirting? Between eh? you two. Why yeah. do you have an English accent when you say flirting? <laughs> What's with all the flirting? She's been talking to Sebastian. She's been talking to Sebastian. Oh, darling. She's been flirting. The bathroom, darling. Darling. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> the flirting. What, can you actually, can you give us an example of the flirting? Um, well, yeah. Um, like when I, throw, probably, well, when probably, I throw him into the wall? <laughs> Maybe that's a different version of flirting. When Crowley calls Mr. Steele, sweetie, I'm talking and that kind of thing. Sweetie? Yeah. I watched them yesterday, I mean. You watched them yesterday? It's <laughs> fresh in your mind. <laughs> Did you have a lot of alcohol to drink yesterday? No, that's good. <laughs> flirty? Yeah, I was a bit flirty, I suppose. I was a bit fruity. With Castiel, do you yeah. remember? But you're always you pissed you're, off the whole Crowley's always a little sassy. Yeah. The, the, the great yeah. gag, no, the gag was, I think the great gag is that, that Castiel was in a very, very bad mood with Crowley the entire time. Yeah. And that uh, the more bad mood that he got into, the more I got sort of flirty and sassy. It was actually hard to shoot <laughs> some of our scenes because it was a, we had a lot of scenes that were like the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Four times. Four or five scenes that was like the same same thing. So we had to kind of find new ways to do it. Um, burst through the door. That shot of you bursting through the door is pretty cool. So, hello. 